think is quite interesting because um, it's the first time we go overseas. Uh, it's good for the promotion of cyclocross. We see the last years that uh, cyclocross in the US is growing a lot and uh, it's necessary to uh, we as European riders uh, go to the US and to do some promotion over there also. And apparently the course is very technical with sand and everything. Do you think uh, it will be a good course for you? I think so. I don't see the track uh, before, but um, yeah, I think the weather is gonna decide if it's hard or uh, if it's really fast. But um, okay, the, the riders make the make the race, and uh, I'm prepared for every every uh, different kind of underground, and uh, I feel myself uh, confident uh, on every uh, every track. That's something special to to race with your your public, like uh, last year in Belgium. Yeah. So be sure it will be a bit different for you. It's totally different, uh, of course, when you can ride in Belgium for 50, 60,000 people, it's, uh, it's a great atmosphere. But definitely in the US, um, there are a lot of people who want to see the, the top uh, European riders uh, uh, do a high, a high uh, performance. And um, I'm, I'm curious what, what's going to happen with the, with the people over there. So cyclosport is not only a Belgian or Dutch sport? It's big in Belgium and uh, we try to uh, have more international riders uh, come, come to Belgium that Belgium riders are going to international races and uh, let's hope that uh, the US um, can do something that, uh, that the promotion of the sport uh, yeah, that the sport is can growing and not only in Belgium but uh, all over Europe and, and the global world.